Okay, let's set up Facebook authentication for our Superbase app. So to do that, we're going to start by going to developers.facebook.com. Make sure you're logged in. Click on My Apps at the upper right-hand corner. And you're ready to create your first app. So just go ahead and create app. And then select your app type. In this case, it's a business app. And put in your app name. This is what the users will see. Your uh, app contact email is usually your Facebook email address, but you can change that if you need to. This is for my own business, not a client business. Uh, I don't have a business management account. And I just click Create App, and I'll need to authenticate. There we go. And now I'm going to set up Facebook login. Skip the quick start because we don't need any of that. We'll just click under Facebook login. We'll click settings. And now we need to put in the uh, valid OAuth redirect URL. Um, this is important. In order to get this, you have to uh, go to your Superbase project. Okay, I've set up a Superbase project. All I need to do is click on my project name go down to settings in the left corner and go to API. Uh, this is the API of your project and this is your uh, your API URL. So we're just going to copy that to the clipboard. We're going to go back into the Facebook page, the fa Facebook developers page, and paste that into our OAuth re redirect. Um, that's only the beginning of it. All you need to do is add, this is the same for everyone, add slash A-U-T-H slash v1 slash callback and that'll be the same URL for all of your providers um, just about every provider needs that exact same thing okay so now we can say save changes at the bottom right and now we're going to go to settings basic at the upper left and this gives us the real important information that we need our app ID and our app secret um, so we're going to copy these into our uh, Superbase project. So this is the the app ID is our client ID. So if we go back into our project and go over to authentication, we're going to go down to settings and scroll down to Facebook. We're going to enable Facebook here and paste this client ID um, into uh, the Facebook client ID box and then we'll go back to Facebook and we're going to say show me the Facebook secret, the app secret, copy this to the clipboard, go back to uh, our Superbase project, paste it in, Superbase, uh, in the Facebook secret box, scroll up and hit save. So those keys are the keys that we were looking for. Now we can go ahead and add client code to our app. We're just about done. So to add client code to our app, uh, we're going to start by uh, instantiating create client. Uh, we'll import the create client from Superbase JS library. And now we're going to create two functions. We're going to create a function to uh, log in with Facebook. And this could become a generic function later if you want to use multiple providers. Just pass it a, um, a variable right here and then uh, use that variable in this function. Okay, and then we're also going to create a function to log out of the app. And then you're going to create two buttons somewhere in your app that call these functions. And I'll leave that up to you. I use um, Angular, but you can use React, Vue, or any other uh, framework. JavaScript framework, or you can use plain JavaScript for this if you like. Okay, so uh, in order to do this, we're going to go to the documentation for uh, Superbase and look for the auth.signin, and then once you get there, you're going to look for third-party providers, and this is the same exact code for all third-party providers. Um, all we're going to do is copy this to the clipboard, go back to our project, and paste it in and make one change, we're going to change this to um, Facebook. And then for the logout code, we're going to go 
find auth.signout, scroll down, copy to the clipboard, and paste this in. Now we don't have a reference to uh, Superbase yet. In order to get that, uh, we're going to go back to our project and we, we need to put in the authentication keys from Superbase. Uh, luckily, that's done for us. If you go down to API and authentication in your project, they've pre-populated those for you. So all you need to do is copy this code in. So I'm going to hit copy on the client API key. This is a public key. It's okay if people see that. It's a public key. And paste that into your code. So that's a constant uh, Superbase key. And then the uh, Superbase URL, which is includes your project ID uh, and the code to instantiate the variable. So we're going to hit copy on this, go back into our project, paste it. So now we've got a Superbase key, a Superbase URL, and then we have a uh, instantiation of the Superbase uh, uh, variable. The only thing is get rid of this uh, process env because this needs to match this and Superbase URL matches that. That's it. We are all ready to go. Now all we need to do is fire up our application, hook up the buttons, and uh, we have authentication. Before you can take your Facebook application live, you need to provide a privacy policy. Um, right now our application is in development, and so in order to make it go live, you'll need to put in a valid privacy policy, uh, save it, and make sure you put that on your website um, and that you review it. Uh, then you'll be able to click from in development to live, put uh, a category for your application, switch the mode, that will switch you to live and now you can test your application and people can log in with Facebook.